Hello guys, Stephanie here from spiritualbossbabe.com. Ooh, tonight I got a juicy one. We're gonna talk about some things that you may be doing or to repel your soulmate clients. And look, you don't wanna do that, right? Like, no, who wants to do that? So let's talk about it. Let's go over what you might be doing to push people away and repel them from you, the people that you actually wanna help and what you can do to change that, okay? So if you can, then take notes because I'm gonna be sharing a lot in this video. <clears throat> also, um, FYI, I'm starting my group coaching, high-level group coaching mastermind next month, and I'm gonna share more about this as the week goes on or next week. So if you're interested, shoot me an email, I'll get you the details. All right, let's go. Hey, Shoshana, oh, first, when you come on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from, replay viewers, Give me a hashtag replay. I love to know who's watching my videos, what you're getting out of it, all that good stuff. Okay, so I actually have notes today because I want to talk about a lot of things. And you know, what really inspired this was I, you know, a couple clients actually this week came up or came to me with this similar thing. So I feel that it's a theme that I need to share. And <clears throat> That is what really inspired me to talk about this. So the couple things that have really been coming up are fear of not being good enough for clients that you want to serve, fear of not being good enough for your soulmate clients, like the people that you actually desire to serve, the fear of can I really get them results or what if they don't like my coaching or like like those kind of things. And, and the, the second thing is um, the feeling of I don't deserve it or guilt, some kind of guilt associated with charging what you want for your services and being able to receive that from people who are excited and ready to work with you. And so it's really important for you to, if you're feeling these things, to work through them because it's only going to repel your soulmate clients away. And there's a few other things that are repelling them away from you. And really, you there's people out there right now, your people that you're meant to serve, they're literally waiting waiting for you to show up for them. They're literally waiting for you to speak to them in a more powerful way so that they can get to the other side of where they're trying to get to so that you can be that person that holds them accountable, that really helps them rise into their next level, grow their business, shift their mindset, heal whatever, you know, whatever you're helping people with, you're, they're waiting for you and they're waiting to know that you are the person to help them. And so if you're seeing like the roller coaster going on and like you're having people book calls with you or you're having people reach out to you and like they're not um, investing in you or whatever it is, <clears throat> or maybe they're not the right fit, this is going to help you change that, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about that has that happens a lot that I realized, and I've been there too, is um, you're focusing too much, more, too much on you. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you're focusing on t too much on what if blah, blah, blah. What if people don't like me? What if people judge me? What if um, I look stupid? What if people don't engage on my posts? You know, w what if this doesn't resonate with you? You know, you're, you're focusing too much on you and um, being so consumed with um, the what ifs and all of those things that really water down your message. Um, another thing is like just getting getting too wrapped up in being perfect and caught up in analysis paralysis. What do I post? What do I share? You know, I'm telling people all these things. I'm giving so much value, blah, blah, blah. You know, what gives? And, and you just, you know, try to perfect things or you overthink things. And people can feel that, like your energy is felt. And I share this a lot. Like this is a, like a big part, energy and strategy. Energy is super important. The way that you show up for your people and showing up with confidence and certainty that you could be the one that that you are the one that is meant to help them. So if you are finding yourself focusing too much on you and not on the people that you're serving, unintentionally it happens. You know, we get in our our head. If you find yourself doing that, um, I want to remind you and encourage you that first off. <laughs> I'm like veering off a little bit, but whatever, it's all flowing. First off, 
Um, half the time people aren't really, they don't, they're not thinking anything close to what you're thinking. You think everyone's thinking about you and they're really freaking not. <laughs> and second, um, you are, you are just going to, people can feel that energetically, like if you show up like that, you know, you have to shift into your heart. So that's the second thing, shift into your heart. Like I was saying in last night's video, you know, focus on the service and being really excited to serve the people that you're meant to serve and less on, well, what if I look silly or what if, you know, I mess up or, you know, what if, what if, what if, what the fuck if, what if you'd freaking crush it and, you know, you show up super powerful and your people that you're meant to serve are like, oh my God, she's so awesome. I need to work with her. You know, I love her energy, blah, blah, blah. She's speaking to my soul. What if that happens? Instead, why don't you think of better what ifs? If you find yourself getting in your head over these little things, then you have to shift those what ifs to better ones and focus on serving from your heart instead of having that attention on you. Okay? So that's the first thing. I got a list of things. <laughs> so the second thing, um, I'm not even going to say numbers anymore because that's just going to get confusing because <laughs> I don't, I just have little, little dashes. So the, you know, the next thing that most people get caught up in that repels their soulmate clients is you get so caught up in reaching your money goal, reaching this money goal. Oh, I want to make this much this month. Oh, you know, or you're watching other people, they're killing it. Oh man, like I need to get there, ah, blah, blah. And you know, you get so caught up in that and it takes away from your purpose and your mission and the people that you're meant to serve, right? And there's nothing wrong with having, you know, an income goal and desiring to receive this financial abundance in exchange for your work, no. But if you give more energy to that and you're putting pressure on yourself and you're like, I'm not there yet, oh, there's something wrong with me, oh, why, you know, I've been working on my business for so long and putting myself out there and like I'm not getting the, not making the income I want. If you go too far into that and, and you get all like worked up over it, it's going to repel your soulmate clients away. It's going to water down your message. Your energy is going to be felt. So what happens when you show up in a different energy and you're like, actually, I am an awesome coach, healer, whatever, you know, I believe in myself and I know that I am here to help other people and you know what, I'm gonna show up in that energy, serve with love, let people know how they can work with me and I'm gonna call them the fuck in. And I'm gonna talk about how to call your soulmate clients in after I go over how you're repelling them, okay? So don't worry, you're gonna get something, you know, solution-based out of this video as well, okay? So <clears throat> pressure over money goals, you know, Watch that watch that, you know have uh, that intention But also make it like okay. I have this income goal that I desire to receive so This is the value that I'm going to give in exchange to receive that and I'm going to serve so much from my heart and let people know how they can work with me and really, really, really just stay in that place of excitement to help these people because this is your freaking purpose. This is your mission. This is your passion. You know, be lit the fuck up about that because you're doing this for you and for the people that you're meant to serve and it's going to shift things so much when you stay aligned with that, when you stay aligned with what and why you're doing this and the purpose, the impact, the impact. When you stay aligned with the impact that you're here to make, the income is going to follow, you know? So be mindful of that. And you may need to rework around some limiting funky money beliefs as well um, within this, but that that if you're focused too much on that, it's going to... Um, push your people away. So if this is resonating with you, let me know in the comments. So far I have a few more things that I want to talk about, okay? So let me know if it's speaking to you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, and all that good stuff. So the next thing is, hey Heather, so the next thing is you're not energetically connected to your people. You're not energetically connected in the most powerful way that you can be. And what I mean by that is, you are, um, sorry, I just got a text message and my light just went down. Ah, hold on. 
I'm hitting all kinds of buttons. <laughs> so you're not energetically connected. And what does this mean? This again goes back to the whole overthinking things. Um, you're not super connected to who exactly you're serving on an energetic level. And I'm going to share like how to get there. Um, like as in you are, um, not really in their energy, their mind, their, 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 uh, speaking to their problems in a, in a very powerful way and also giving them hope and showing that you are someone who can really, really help them. You're not super energetically connected. And, you're, and uh, you know, something that I would recommend doing before you show up on a video, before you make your posts, really, really connect to the people that you're, the person, you know, her, your dream client, that really connect to that person before you, um, you know, do your video or post. And uh, something that you can do to get into that energy is to, you know, close your eyes, do some breathing, and really visualize, you know, energetically connecting to this person that you're speaking to, that you want to call in, this soulmate client. You know, because if you are um, in that space of overthinking or um, trying to get like thinking about how many likes and comments you get on posts or whatever um, rather than really speaking to her to that person then uh, you're gonna you're gonna not speak to them you're gonna repel them away you know so get energetically connected um, that's another that's a huge one huge 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 because you guys know we're all into the energy and stuff in here, and your energy is everything. People can feel that. So, um, also, if if you're also not being energetically connected, can also mean that uh, you're not in the right vibrational state. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. We all have our bad days. But if you are feeling like you're so in your head, you're just like having a fucked up day, or maybe you're just like you're not feeling confident, you're not uh, fully there, you're stressing, you have fear, like too, you know, uh, too much in your energy at the moment, um, then you're not going to be energetically connected. So you need to figure out what you need to do to shift your energy and <clears throat> show up when you're in a better energetic state. Okay, so that's another side note for that one. Um, and hopefully that is making sense to you. Um, I know we've all, we all have our days when we're just not feeling it. And yeah, like, you know, people say show up anyway. And I'd probably say that too. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, you know, show up for your people. But also, like, show up for yourself first. So, you know, get your um, mind right. Get your energy right. So Because then you'll be able to show up in a more powerful way, okay? So make sure that you keep that in mind because people are gonna feel that. And it's going to, and when you show up in a better uh, energetic state, you're more excited, confident, inspired, creative, you're not in your head, you're in your heart, the people that you wanna to speak to are gonna be able to hear you in a much more powerful way, okay? So there's that. And the last thing, which I kind of already touched on this anyway, is overthinking, AKA analysis paralysis. How many of you have been in analysis paralysis I used to be analysis paralysis queen. I literally, you guys, before I started this group, I had this burning desire to make an impact. I'm like, fuck man, like I need to just shout my message off the top of rooftops. <laughs> I need to make this impact. I didn't know what it meant. Um, I had all these ideas. I wrote down outlines for programs I wanted to create. And guess what? I sat on that shit forever. And like I kept, you know, wanting to learn more and more and more. And like, you know, wanting to make things better, trying to be perfect, all this stuff. And analysis paralysis not only held me back, because I, you know, I could have been even further or whatever. Um, not only held me back, but repelled away the people that I was speaking, that I wanted to call in, you know, that I wanted to work with. It wasn't, you know, I would, they weren't able to see me, to find me. I, you know, I was overthinking everything. I'm, you know, this needs to be better, blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, if you find yourself doing that, you know, when you have an inspired idea of something to share or create, you need to freaking create it. And you need to do it fast because the ego loves to come in and be like, oh, that's not that good. And then you're like, oh, wait, it isn't? I, I thought it was. Oh, maybe it's not. <laughs> maybe I should change it. No, you take the first step 
And then the next step is gonna follow and you're gonna start to build momentum. And don't freaking worry about if it's perfect or not perfect or any of that shit because I've made a million mistakes. Every successful entrepreneur, everyone makes mistakes or gets better as they go. So you have to just embrace that. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Those are the things that are repelling your freaking clients away. The people that you really, really wanna work with. And in addition to those things, and I'll recap them in a second, you not actually being clear about who you want to work with is repelling them, <laughs> obviously, if you're not clear. So to recap, your, the, the things that repel your clients, ooh, what is going on with my light? Uh, you're focusing too much on you, as in, oh, what do they think? What if people judge me? What if they don't like me? Uh, you're pr too pressured on your money goals or what everyone else is doing or the success everyone else is seeing. You're not energetically connected. Um, and your overthinking analysis process, right? Those are the things that are repelling your people away. But you wanna call more of your soulmate clients in, don't you? Like, you wanna work with people who you are lit the fuck up to work with. Not, not just them being excited to work with you. No, you wanna be excited to work with them, you know? And maybe you've experienced that, and you wanna experience more of that, and you can, and you deserve to. So here's the solution, all right? I got some more bullet points on the solution of how to call more of your soulmate clients in. Number one, you need to be clear about who they are. And I'm not talking about, you know, uh, like knowing every little detail about their life or anything like that, but like what kind of person are they? What kind of person are they? You know, I, I like, how, you know, not just who are they, like, you know, how I help spiritual entrepreneur. I can't talk spiritual entrepreneurial women that's who I like to serve but who, like the kind of people they are they're driven as fuck visionary coaches healers women who really know that they have something massive to do on this planet and they need someone to hold space for them and to help them rise into that with power right not women who are you know making excuses still or whatever like they're driven they've had this burning desire in them forever they know that they're you know here to do something really big and they want to get their message out there in a much 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 bigger way they're not playing around they're relentless in pursuit of their passion that's the kind of person now for me <laughs> so i i want you to think about you know what kind of person she is you know i like like for me and, and, and hint, she's a lot like you, you know what I mean? For me, like I love um, working with other women who are super, you know, uh, super connected uh, to their purpose in like such a deep way, spiritual, like really, really um, diving deeper into their spiritual growth always. You know, a lot of my clients actually are people who work with plant medicine as well because when I share about that they're like oh shit like I totally resonate with you I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm very into that as well and I just really like that speaks to me and so um, I love working with others like that but so much more but I want you to think about what it is for you okay so that's the first thing really get clear about like what kind of person she is or he <laughs> um, and like you know personality wise right you know you you, you want to be excited to work with your soulmate clients and you want them to be excited to work with you it should feel that way it can feel that way and it's gonna feel way more amazing that way than working with people who, you, who just do, who you, you're not lit up to work with you know maybe that's happened to you before as well and um, it sucks <laughs> It doesn't feel like you don't feel lit up. I want you guys to feel like lit, lit, lit up when you're working with the people that you're meant to serve because it makes it way more fun, obviously, and you'll be more inspired and creative. Okay, so the second thing, and I'm going to give you a little action like assignment at the end of this. So the second thing is visualize. We're going to use like manifestation tactics here. Visualize yourself working with the the your soulmate clients like really like seeing how it is feeling how it feels seeing them be excited and ready and able to invest in you to pay your rate to be excited and maybe even a little nervous cuz that's how it is to to invest in you 
see this like like take time to meditate on this guys like law of attraction manifestation shit works for clients too you know so um just and see yourself being so lit the fuck up to to serve these people like whether it's one on one or through your program or whatever you're just like you're so excited and they're so fired up and driven and they're going to get results because they're freaking they're your soulmate clients they're driven they're not you know people who are half assed it <laughs> right so see this in your mind's eye I'm telling you do this on a regular and you're gonna start to really see shit shift like really quickly okay so that's the second thing so a lot of like steps here that I'm giving you guys I'm giving like a lot of really valuable shit in this video so don't take it for granted take your notes okay so the next thing I have for your solution to actually call in your soulmate clients is show up for her <clears throat> when like like when I did this video I'm like hey like I need to talk to my soulmate clients over here and I want to help them call more of their soulmate clients in so let me make a video and teach them how to do it so but yes so when you are creating your posts when you are making videos and you're really giving value and you're showing up for your people show up for her like the dream client as if she's one person and you um, clear your space and your energy beforehand and you're like, what do I need to tell her today? Like, what does she need to hear today? How can I help her today and freaking bring her one step closer to her goal and give her hope and whatever it is, like, how can I help her? What does she need to hear from me? Connect to that. Ask yourself that because when you ask yourself a question, you got to come up with an answer. So ask yourself, what does she need to hear from me today? Show up for her. So that was like the, the little bullet point I have. Show up for her. Um, and the next thing I, I, I'm still going, like, this is good guys, like a lot of value in this. So I hope you're taking notes and if you want to watch this again, feel free. Okay. So the next thing is, um, feel genuinely excited to work with her and help her. Okay. So when you're coming from that place of being genuinely excited to work with her and help her, like imagine, okay, when you're visualizing this as well, imagine your soulmate client getting epic fucking results. How amazing are you gonna feel when that happens? Really good, right? So feel genuinely excited to help her and to see her get these amazing results that she wants. You are the one that's holding her accountable and helping her and, and like not letting her fall into her bullshit stories that have been keeping her in the same place for, for freaking ever. You are the one that's helping her rise up. So feel genuinely excited to help her with XYZ. And when you are in that energy, like I said before, you're, they're going to feel you and you're not going to be in that energy of, Oh, I need to make this much money this month. No, you're in the energy of fuck man. Like I can't wait to help more people like my dream people get to these results. And when you're in that place, the money is going to show up. Like it's seriously like that's how it works. So that's why you got to get out of your head and you have to stay in your heart. So feel genuinely excited to help her, um, show up specifically for her through your content and messaging. I already said that. And the last one, last but not least <clears throat> is, and I'm going to try to word this in the way that I want to share it, but it might take me a second. So don't buy into your limiting beliefs or the limiting beliefs you think other people have. Okay. And what do I mean by this? <laughs> Let me repeat it first. Don't buy into your limiting beliefs around attracting your people and also don't buy into the limiting beliefs that you think that they have as in, oh, no one's going to be able to afford me. Like, oh, like no one's going to want to be able to pay me that. Mm, I feel bad charging that or like, you know, what if they, whatever the fuck you, you're, is going on in your mind around what they think. You have, like, look, you know, you have no control over what other people think, and it's not your job to think for them, first of all. So get the F out of your head and stop um, buying into limiting beliefs that you think other people have that you actually want to work with you. You have to stand in your power and know your worth and know that the people that you are meant to serve, they're going to fucking work with you and they're going to invest in you. And guess what? If they don't, 
then they're probably not your dream client. <laughs> Either that or you're not showing up for them as powerful as you can. Okay, so it's one of those two things and this video should help you show up in a much more powerful way for the people that you're serving. So I want you to remember that last thing, like, you know, ingrain it in your head. Don't buy into your limiting beliefs or the limiting beliefs that you think other people have because you are not the person that's supposed to be thinking for them. And when, you know, if this is especially true when you are charging for your services when you have like those conversations of letting people know how much it is to invest in you and you feel like weird around it because you think that they think you think that they think that it's going to be too much or eh, they can't afford it stop thinking for them that's exhausting isn't it it's fucking exhausting all right so that is all i have for that for for the solution and now i want to give you a little assignment that you could do on your own and really will help you connect to your dream soulmate client in a much deeper way. So this is a journaling exercise. So just uh, write this down or if someone wants to comment below and kind of recap what I'm about to say, but I want you to do a journaling exercise and really write out like who your soulmate client is. My my soulmate client is someone who is what are her personality traits? Right? What are her what are her what is her big vision and mission? You don't need to be super specific about what exactly that is, but you know, if she's someone who, you know, desires to make a massive impact, she, you know, wants to manifest more money, have more freedom in life, you know, so who is she, what, are her, what is her personality like, you know, what kind of person is she, what are her big dreams and goals, and what is her biggest struggle that she is dealing with right now, that problem that you are helping her serve. And you can go on with this and get even deeper and energetically connected so that, like in your own way, free form after those questions, um, to really help you connect even deeper to who this person is so that when you show up online in your videos, in your content, you are more, you're more connected. You're going to be able to show up in a more powerful way. And I really hope that if you were taking notes during this video, <laughs> I'm like, I'm really giving you guys a lot of value in here. Um, if you need to watch it again, watch it again. But, um, keep all of these things in mind. The things that you're doing that are repelling your people away and the solutions that I gave you to call them in. And you know, a lot of calling them in, um, it has to do with the things that I shared, but also you being able to confidently stand in your power and know that, you know, you're you're and know that you're valuable and that you deserve the um, energetic exchange of income that you actually really want for the value and the results that you're getting people, okay? That you're assisting people to get, right? Because they actually have to do the work. <laughs> so, um, yeah, like I hope this was super helpful to you. Let me know like what your biggest takeaway was from this and do that little journaling exercise to really get connected in a much deeper way to your people. I promise you, if you implement this stuff, you are going to see an, a difference. You're going to start, I just got a phone call. You're going to start seeing people like message you, comment, all that stuff if you implement this stuff and it's gonna like start to happen much faster, but you have to amplify your energy and power when you're doing this too. So. That is all I have for you guys today. Again, my group coaching, I'm doing a high level group coaching mastermind next month. If you are really ready to step into your next level, you want to call in more of your soulmate clients and you want to freaking like peel away all of the bullshit that's holding you back from stepping into your next level on a whole in a whole nother fucking way, like next, next level then jump in on it. Just email me because this is application based only. I'm going to share more about it next week. Application based only for 10 beautiful, amazing women that I am calling in. So if you are one of them, or if you feel like you're one of those women that wants to be in my mastermind, then email me at info at spiritualbossbabe.com. I'll give you more details and I will shoot you the application to apply. Okay. I love you guys so much. I can't wait to hear how you do implementing some of these things and I will see you probably tomorrow. Bye.